Hello everybody, welcome to a Youth Services Book Chat here at the Amherst Public Library. We can't believe the end of March is here. Only two more days until April 1st. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, it's just flying. And this weather doesn't help us try and figure out what season it is, does it? Well, it's always a season for book reading and we wanna show you so many books that have been coming in. We can't wait for our expansion and renovation to be done and you will be able to come in and select all of these just by looking at them. But for now, anything you see in life, give us a call or put a hold on yourself through the catalog and we can pull them for you and deliver them to you curbside. We hope that you're enjoying our services because we miss seeing you, but we still wanna get these books to you. Just had to highlight a few right off the bat. Picture books. This one is about Betty White. Was she unbelievable? So it's called That's Betty, the story of Betty White. And I hope that you wanna get some information to your kids about what a wonderful, very, very funny and classy lady Betty White was. And speaking of elderly people, Please keep in mind, if your children are dealing with an elderly grandparent and just want to understand what's going on in their minds, My Grandma's Photos is a nice introduction about the aging process when the elderly just sometimes have a few memory problems and how photos can be world opening for them. They remember some of the things from way back, not so much what's going on now, it's a nice connection point for the children. So get my grandma's photos. What a wonderful book. Then, how about this nice eye-catching book called Ada and the Galaxies? This is by Alan Lightman. What great pictures are in this book. Ada loves the stars, but in New York, the city lights make the night sky too bright to see the stars. After the long winter months, Ada and her mom go to visit her grandparents, Ama and Puba. They live on an island in Maine where the night sky is very dark and Ada can see lots of stars. Can we see the stars tonight, says Ada. I've been waiting all winter. Of course, says Puba. We'll do that as soon as it gets dark. There are lots of other things we can do in the daytime. Let's go down to the shore. We'll come and check out this wonderful book about stars at night and the shoreline during the day. It's a great story, Ada and the Galaxies by Alan Lightman. And if you have a little one who wants to be occupied with a cute little board book, I recommend On Baba's Back. This is by Marianne Dubar. Meet Coco and Baba. They are very close. Coco is happy to be on Baba's back. Coco eats Baba's back. Uh-oh, it's eating ice cream on Baba's back. What's gonna happen? Oh, Coco plays on Baba's back. Now you know what happens. Uh-oh, Coco pees on Baba's back. What does that mean? They need to get a quick bath. So Coco takes a bath. A bath on Baba's back. Coco goes for a walk on Baba's back. Come and check this book out and see all the different things that Coco can do in a day. On Baba's back. On Baba's back by Marianne Dubach. And if you want a nice interactive book, we've got an I Can Learn series. These are I Can Learn My First Sounds. Noisy Animal Search and Find and Noisy Tractor. Let's see what happens here. Do we press these things? They are squishy. Uh oh. Listen to that. We've got the engine starting. And look at all the things you see when you see a tractor. Are they gonna be on the farm with all these farm animals? I think so. There's going to be a horn. Lots of fun things to play with. That's the noisy tractor. Flashlight Night is another great book that we have. It's an adventure in trusting God. This is by Elizabeth Hasselbeck. She actually says she wrote it with her three kids. Come with me and see the wall. It's full of chalk and super tall. 
Hmm, what are they going to write on the wall? It's where I'm brave and share my prayers, my biggest hopes, my biggest cares. I hold some chalk tight in my hand and think and think and think and stand. With that piece of chalk I write with all my heart, with all my might. It's kind of nice to have a place to put all your thoughts down. You could do it on paper or a giant chalkboard. Come and see Flashlight Night, An Adventure in Trusting God by Elizabeth Hasselbeck and her three kids. Oh, what a cute book we got coming up here called 40 Winks. It's a bedtime adventure written by Kelly DiPuccio. Wow, look at all those. It's time for bed, the wink parents said. Their routine was the same every night. Mama and Papa lined up their big brood. All 38 children in sight. Wow. If you had time, I bet you could even count all 38. Because here they all are. And you can practice all their names. Can you imagine naming all of them? The loud, hungry pack was served up a snack of cider and crumb cakes and cheese. Some sipped and some slurped, some gobbled, some burped. While others said, thank you and please. A puddle on path led them straight to the bath and sudsy warm water filled pails. Pa leaned in the tub to rub a dub scrub. All 38 noses and tails. Come and check out all the adventures of being from a very large family of 38. That makes 40 winks. It's a great story, a bedtime adventure. Words by Kelly DiPuccio. I sure hope you come and see us soon. We have all these books and so much more for you to see. See you next month. Bye now.